Hello and welcome back for another video. Today's video is going to be all about how to do sublimation on a mug. So you're going to need a sublimation mug. I picked this one up at Michael's. And the next thing you're going to need is something to sublimate onto it. So I printed off this little design. I made it in Silhouette Studio. You'll need heat resistant tape. And then I purchased this set of silicone sleeves off of Amazon. I'll have a link to it in the description box down below. It just holds everything onto the mug nice and tight. And then we're also going to need some butcher paper. All right, we're gonna get this completely cleaned off with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. You just wanna get all the fingerprints and oils and dust off of it. So it'll have a clean slate for the sublimation. I just cut my uh, sublimation paper to size and now I'm placing it where I want it on the mug and then using my heat resistant tape, I'm going to very carefully, like I said, line it up exactly where I want it and then tape this directly onto the mug. If you are brand new to sublimation and you're confused by what sublimation paper is or what to print on and what kind of ink to use, I have a video that's called Sublimation for Beginners. I'll link it in the cards as well as in the notes below. So you can go check that out and that explains everything. The next step is to add a layer of butcher paper over top of the sublimation paper that we just taped down. So I just cut this butcher paper to size and I am using the heat resistant tape to tape it in place. Uh, everything that I'm using in this video is going to be linked in the description box down below. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'd love to know if you've tried sublimation before, if you have any tips or tricks, I'm newer to it, but I'm really loving all the possibilities and things that sublimation has to offer. So I'd love to hear from you if you have any tips for me or if any ideas of something that I should try next. All right, so after the butcher paper is on, let's go ahead and put this silicone sleeve on. These come in multiple sizes as well as a tapered version if you were doing like a tumbler or something with a taper or even a mug with a taper. Um, but we just click this right in place. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. I'm gonna stick this in the oven very carefully with my heat resistant gloves for about 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes is up, I use my gloves again. Be very careful, it's super, super hot. And I set it aside on a little baking sheet and I let it cool before I start to handle it again. It was a little bit warm when I did this, but not enough to really you know, hurt me. Um, I did put the gloves on just to be extra careful. So we're taking the silicone sleeve off and then I'm going to very carefully peel off the butcher paper as well as the sublimation design and let's see how it turns out. All right, it's the moment of truth. Let's see how it looks. I have been doing sublimation for about a year now and every single time I am blown away by how crisp and beautiful it turns out. These are, I've only done a few other mugs, but the colors and it's just so shiny and pretty. I love it so much. It looks like maybe I got it a little bit crooked, but that's okay, it's just for me. <laughs> but again, let me know if you have any questions. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.